They opened up my mind. Yeah, that's an apt name for this trophy because all of those quests gave you something to think about. Okay, let me talk to Cyril. Lord Marquis, if you have a moment. What is it, Cyril? One of our brethren lately hey, journeyed Chanel. across the strait in order to pursue a new avenue of inquiry in our ongoing investigation. He sent an owl some while ago, but we have heard naught from him since. Oh. Was he surveying another fallen ruin? No. The object of his study was a savior cult that has arisen in ash in recent years. We believe it may have some connection to the Circle of Malleus. An ancient religion that worshipped Ultima as its god. Oh. By gaining an understanding of this new faith, we hoped to learn more of the Circle's original beliefs. And so you sent one of your brothers to Ash? A continent teeming <laughs> with orcs and Akashic. Fully cognizant of the risks, yes. <laughs> I entrusted Clive. the mission to one of the most able of our order. The third chair. A master of the arts of combat and survival, both. Though he has been silent for some days now, I have thus far refrained from sending any others in search of him, lest they be lost in turn. Yet, I think that's the smartest thing you right did. To inform you of the situation, given your unique experience of the perils of Ash, for as you so earnestly advised me, it would not do to abandon a man to his fate when he might yet be saved. Oh, he's somewhat learning. <sighs> he would not. But Ash is a big place. Can you be any more specific? Perhaps. The last owl I received from him Music mentioned a village creepy. where he had heard the cult were wont to assemble. Mickleberg was its name. It lies in the southern reaches of Walud. If aught ill befell him, I expect it did so there. All right. I'll see what I can do. You are much too kind, my lord. Go then, with my hopes. And may the Firebird's flame ever burn in your heart. Bruh. When last I heard from him, the third chair was bound for Mickleback. If you mean to seek him out, it sounds like you're saying Nickelback. I can think of no better place to start. Like Nickelback. News has reached us of the black bulk that soars over the strait. Lord Cyril has ordered our survey teams to investigate it forthwith. It would seem that your battle is coming to a head, my lord. I pray that you and your brother will emerge victorious. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your hearts. And guide you back home safely. How do you feel about a trip to Ash? We have a third chair to find. Assuming he's still alive. <laughs> right? If he's alive. Or if he turned, he could have turned Akashic. Okay, we're not here. It's here? Ah, it's in half calm. Here we go, one more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Here we go now. This must be Mickleburg. Oh! Okay, save. I don't know what is over here, but like this seemed interesting the first time I saw this freaking door. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this music means it's not These good. These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. Um. What is going on here? Ah. Did you too heed the call? Heed the call? No, I... I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. This is the first time finding people That's in Ash. Alone, all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... 
where you live. It is my home. The others, they, they heeded the call. You keep saying that. What do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. Um. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves. Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner, like me, come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from Stone? Yes. He's staying at my house. Toward the rear of the village. This music Thank is so you. sus, man. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. At least the third chair is still alive. Let's go and find him. For now. Let us be made pure. I heard Let that in the- Let us be made divine. Did you hear Lilith in the background? Lilith? Your friend with the cowl has been staying with me. Please, make yourself at home too, traveler. Oh. Huh. Oh, Diablo 4, got it. Oh, Lord, bring us salvation. Okay, let me explore before going to his house. The fact that this village is not turned is sus. You heard it in your right headphone. It was weird. It was like it was whispering to me, Link. I, I feel violated. <laughs> I feel good, boy. Good good boy. Dude goes a good boy. It makes me scared what we're gonna find. It's crazy this hasn't this area hasn't been turned. But why? It's gonna turn while we're here, huh? Oh boy. Oh he looks okay. Okay, cool. Let's read as well. The Chronicles of Merkvar. Being a collection of tales as recounted as his most exalted majesty, Lord Bjornhard of the Veldermark. As you are no doubt aware, Lord Bernhard, there was once a race of men who commanded the most forbidden of forbidden magics. But do you ever hear tell of the, exe ex the executors, those charged with driving out these heretics? The order had its origins in the Crystalline Dominion, but whose rulers decree it was tasked with the protection of mankind and sent forth to extinguish the forbidden magic wherever rumors of its use might arise. Having in due course succeeded in their mission and driven the utterers to the un unutterable from the land, these secretive souls withdrew from the stage of history never to be heard from again. Excuse me. Are you with the undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Do you not know who I am? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. Yep, that That's means. right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. Oh. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their Lord with a fervor I have never seen before. 
Some people want Praying that. Ooh, night and hobby. day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. It is more. Mmm, something that you want? And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. Wow. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Right. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go and find out what. Stay here. Oh, I knew it would... Oh, they, they've... Beneath the flood. Oh, no. There must be something I can do. Echoes as well. Found her. Oh, hello. Come on. Over here! Don't tell me it's an iron giant. Is it an iron giant? Is it an iron giant? Is it, it is an iron giant? Dang freaking nabbit! We meet again. I had a, I had a feeling. Ooh. I've killed your kind before. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excuse you. Want to. <laughs> oh no, they're going to be turning. Damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be good at martial arts, bro! Don't you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. By devoting themselves to the service of their lord. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me, and I would not deny them that fulfillment, even if they must become a Kashik in Bruh. order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are safe. 
Bruh. Okay, that, that quest made me speechless. Sometime later. Yeah, I would be... They are saved. Found that. I should get this report to Cyril. Damn. That's... that's wild. I like that quest because it made me think. My Lord Marquis. Welcome back. I am glad to see you hail and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Uh, Mickelberg report. The third chair's report into the teachings of an ashen savior cult. Its outer edges stained with the same man's lifeblood. <sighs> Thank you, my lord. He remained in ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickelberg. I'm... Sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were... Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. Wow. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. Mm. Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. Wow. The consistency. But he didn't die for your creed. Mm. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe that he believed it was. Yeah. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. Mm. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. Aww. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been and shall ever be the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Wow, that was a really good quest. Yeah, my fate is my own. Very deep. Clay Hearth Signboard. The emblem of the Undying's headquarters in Tabor. The village is home to the finest leather workers and lapidaries in Delmechia, who are little aware that there are affable new neighbors or members of a secret society sworn to serve the Phoenix. Okay. 
Um. Oh, they opened up my mind. Collect six signboards. Yeah, that's an apt name for this trophy because all of those quests gave you something to think about. I shall have the Book of Martyrs fetched from the required tree forthwith, my lord. But prithee, do not let me keep you should you have more pressing matters to attend to. The volume will be waiting for you when you next return. Mmm. Okay. So not just yet. I should probably come back at some point. The third chair's report is a treasure trove of information regarding the beliefs and traditions of the Circle of Malleus. Considering the Circle's connections to Ultima, it will surely be an invaluable resource in divining his true nature. Our brother did his duty well. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, the Roaring Hearth. If the drunken galley captain I shared a table with last night is to be believed, word of your exploits has made its way across the seas to the great continent. What is more, she claims there are those who would see you flourish, herself being one such woman. Gerath, Genji gloves! Here you are. Come again. I may have more for ya. Increases damage dealt to enemies by 5%. Ah. The island warriors of the Far East are said to claim a piece of the armor of a slain soldier following a battle, wearing it over their own until the next encounter, at which time they finally remove it. The warriors believe that the spirit of the fallen foe will now lend them their strength. Let's talk to Doris. Sid, do you have a moment? By all means. It's my old master. Seems there's no escaping her. She found some way to send me a letter. Oh. And something else. Records from a Waluda prison. Seems they were keeping a lot of bearers there. Oh. How did she come by such a thing? Finding bearers always was her strong point. And it seems the cells of Balmung Dark are full of them. Foreign captives, the masterless. Bearers no one would miss. And even better for her. Bearers with no one to look after them. When Ether started lapping at the walls... The jailers fled. Leaving the bearers to be liberated by whoever happened to come along next. Sid, I'd like to believe that I've earned your trust by now. And while I'm well aware that you've forbidden curse breakers from traveling to Walud, I can't let those bearers die in their cells. I'd rather risk shipwreck on the Shadow Coast than leave them to starve. Then we go together. We'll be needing the Enterprise if we're going to navigate the Narrow. Does that mean... I'm making an exception, but we travel together, and we stay no longer than we have to. Ash is an inhospitable place at the best of times. We save as many as we can, and we leave. Thank you, Sid. There was a name in the prison register, a name from my past. Oh? Chadwick, another of my former master's protégés, a gifted soldier, and the closest thing I had to family. Oh no, I thought hope... of him held captive in that place. I'm hoping they're he not a captive. He must be very important to you. He was. Is. Oh, wait, no, but they're him. bearers. They're fine. The Should entrance be. to the prison lies in the shadow of Ravenwit walls, just beyond the portcullis. We should head there as quickly as we can. I only pray there are still bearers alive to save. As do I, Doris. Is this where I think it is? How long has it been since the jailers of Balmung abandoned their charges? Without food or water, they won't last long. Just want to be sure. Because, I, yeah, I had a feeling it's here. It's this one. You all right? About that. If there's anything I can do to help you kill this Ultima bloke, you just say the word, eh? You could promise to, to take Sid's name off my hands. Oi! Don't even joke about that. Anyway, I thought she said you hadn't finished with it yet. <laughs> I, I did, didn't I? Now, if you wanted to give me an even grander title, something to rival your Sid the Outlaw, that'd be a different story. Let's see. Gav the Magnificent, Gav the Almighty, Gav the Lionheart, something along those lines. <laughs> I'll leave that to you to decide. I'm sure you're more than capable of choosing the perfect moniker for Sid's right-hand man. Aww! <laughs> right-hand man, eh? I'll take it! Oh, I love Gav! You're off, then. 
<laughs> yeah, it's amazing. My lord Marquess, I write to I write to thank you for the kind consideration you have shown for those whose names are written within the pages of the Book of Martyrs. I know that it would move them deeply to know that the first shield of the Phoenix laments their passing. Though each and every member of our order stands ready to sacrifice their lives in service of the Phoenix, I do not doubt that those who are taken before their time go with regret for the long years of duty left undone, and that they should live on in this memory of a proud son of House Rossfield, such as yourself, shall surely go some way to soothing their sorrows. May the Phoenix's flame burn ever in your heart. Cyril, bearer of the Burning Quill. Prince of Death. Oh, jeez. On GCN. I haven't gotten around to playing that though.
Level 49! Nice. I'm getting tired of these things. I can make my sword now, Kiki. I can do it. I think I even have enough for the other the other stuff now, because I got two orcalcums as well. And before finishing all of the other side quests. Oh Sword on of Doom? Hell yeah. It'd be with a Z. Z W O R D. Zordon. <laughs> okay, Blackthorn, give it to me. Oh, ask about origin. Crack the crystal. Kill a god, save the world. I miss anything? No, that's pretty much the plan. Oh, very good one. If you ask me. But then. I can't say I've had much practice killing gods. Now forge and kit to kill a god. That I might be able to help you with. Reckon it's the least I can do after all you've given us. And that, and it's more than enough. <laughs> you can thank me when you get back. Yeah, Zordon of Doom, exactly, Kiki. If Ragnarok was forged to make, to mark the war of the gods, then Godr Damrung, uh, Godr Damrung, yeah, meaning Twilight of the Gods, was forged to mark the fall of those same self deities. Hell yeah. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Half past Twilight, craft the legendary sword Godr Damrung. Yeah! Two sons did the, did the devourer beget, and like their father, would they look ever forward to the past. Upon placing the smooth leather cuffs upon your wrists, they cinch tight to your skin in an oddly warm embrace. Removing them requires more effort than it should. No scratches, right? Nice! Anything I am else? all geared up. Oh, Goots! Goots is out! Uh, Ask about origin. Um, I wish I could go up there with you. Doesn't seem right li leaving everything up to you three. It's hardly everything. There's plenty that still needs to be done down here. Like seeing to our stores and keeping Karen safe. Only you can do that, Goots. And I will. I, pro I promise. I won't let Nan come to no harm no matter what. You can count on me. Just like we're all counting on you to come back safe and sound. Be seeing ya. There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with Akashic. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here, I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet, but let's move quickly. Yeah, I hope they're, they're okay. Kingdom of Valud. The sole surviving nation in Ash. Shortly after the death of Barnabas Tharm, Sion of Zemeckis, and Cat's Paw of Ultima, Drake's head was shattered, leaving the capital of Stonehur without Mother Crystal and King. Let me check the ground floor. The ether's thick is there. Then I'll search the upper level. Good luck, Sid. Stay safe. This, this arena kind of reminds me of, um... What was the game I played? The one with... Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer? I hope not. We're risking a lot just being here. Better keep my eyes open for signs of life. Probably not on stream. Well, I'm streaming. Just in case, you never know. Yes, exactly. Booba respectfully. Always. You're finished. Oh. Malwang Dark, writ of designation. The Kingdom of Valud hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train a kuzu beast for deployment in the field. The aforementioned purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Captive bearers have been provided solely for the pursual of the aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bearers in any other capacity. Sus. So this place was no ordinary prison. This, pr this prison no is sus. I have taken the creature with them when they fled. 
recommendation concerning Kuzu Beast deployment. Oh, not I keep saying Kuzu. It's Kuza. The Kuza has long been recognized as an as an especially aggressive species. This being the case, it was hoped that successfully uh, that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy. In exercises conducted thus far, however, the beast has proven incapable of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants, as such deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended. It is proposed and said that bearer captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus, and that the beast then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of Waluder lives. The hell? Minimal loss of Waluder lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Oof. Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Damn. Memorandum on Kuza Beast Feeding. Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusted to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way, suggesting that live bearers may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bearers no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. What the hell? They were feeding bearers to it. This is even worse than I'd feared. They had I, nothing but a caching down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. They were doing, uh, what do you call it? They were already um, dropping hints throughout the the game that Walud was treating their bearers bearers worse. No luck downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Oof. Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, oh, children fudge. even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. I'm afraid. They were fed, yeah. It means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Damn. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yeah, yet. Yeah, the other side. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. If we don't find any survivors, we've risked our lives. For it's nothing. not for nothing. Take care. That creature might still be here somewhere. Yes, I'm. We're probably gonna end up fighting it. I'm curious what it's gonna look like. We release in the lock. Let's see what we can find down here. Yeah. Oh, uh, Amber. I was like, potion? <laughs> oh! A survivor. And she sounds close. Oh my gosh, there's an actual girl! Hold on, there's a sparkly. I'll get to you, little girl. Is she the only one? Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Oh. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> Of course there were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadrick send you? What? He fought the monster. 
Oh no, Chadwick's coming. probably dead. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your cell, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Oh. Chadwick. Yeah, Chadwick's probably that? dead. That's the monster. Monster's back. Chadwick, help. We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. Yeah, we're fighting right. the monster. You put that bear-eating bastard in the ground. We have to run. You're oh, shoot. Now. We won't let it hurt you. Oh, I should, I should have gotten... I should have gotten potions. <laughs> I'll look after the girl. You teach that thing a lesson. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Great. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. I'm like, is there a lever or something? Where? Where? To the right, opening the gate? Where? This is the right. Oh, down the hall. Okay. <laughs> You're just saying, just saying right. I'm like, right next to the gate? I ran past it again? Nani? Why am I not seeing it? Stop looking at chat. <laughs> I'm looking, okay? I'm looking. The fudge. Oh, oh, there's no lever. I was looking for a lever. <laughs> There's an opening! Who's a beast? Okay, it's only- it's only rank A, so it's- we should be fine. The beast will wreak havoc if it ever leaves the prison. That's what I thought! That's what I thought, ya piece of shit, it? I don't, I don't think so. No, 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 no. Simma do me da 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 da. Damn it! Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! We good? We good? We, we good, we, we good. Oh, 
sound of its beating <laughs> what about chadwick finally sid are you hurt i'm fine i think No. Oh. What is it? It's probably Chadwick. Diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Damn. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. Sheesh. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. There was like a small hope if we had gotten here sooner. Maybe. Sometime later. Oh, she's out up there now. Oh, Asta's not from around. I hear you've barely left the girl's side. Oh, there's in Asta in the background! I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She walked she away. Is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's Heide the man Marie. I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish Aww. I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. We get him back story? Met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. Aww. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. Let's I'll go. fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Yeah. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Sad. And Asta came back to her post. The